Welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover the yum command, which will help us to manage the software packages. So we will be able to install new packages, update the existing ones, and also we will be able to remove the existing packages. So the command that we are going to use is yum. And there are certain parameters which will help us to change the behavior of this command to achieve different tasks. So let us suppose that you want to check which all packages are installed or whether a certain package is installed or not. Then you can use yum list and then a particular package which you want to check whether it is installed or not. The next option is to search for packages. So remember we have registered our system with Red Hat and you want to search whether a certain package exists or not, then you can use yum search and then the package name. Next option is to list the package information. So we'll use yum info and then the package name. With this, you will be able to view the information like what is the size of the package, what is the version of the package and certain other parameters also. Next and the most important thing is to install a new package. For that you will use yum install and the package name. Then if you want to update a installed package you can use yum update and finally to remove an existing package you will use yum remove. Now let us see all these one by one with an example. Alright so the first thing was yum list and then the package name. So let's suppose I want to check for whether httpd package is installed in my system or not. So once I do yum list httpd it will check and you can see now it tells that the installed package is httpd.x86-64 and this is the version whereas uh, another package the name is same this means an updated version of this package is available. So we will see how to update that also and another example let's suppose you write here nmap. So in this case you can see there is nothing as installed so this package is not installed but a package with this name is available for installation. If you want to check all that which all packages are installed you can write yum list all. So this will list all the installed packages in your system. So it will be a long list. Alright. So you might want to grab to search for a particular one out of this entire list if you want to do it. Next was search. If you want to search in the repositories that which our packages or a certain package is available or not. So let's suppose we search for nmap. So you can see that uh, this package is available. This is the name of the package and this is the description or the summary about the package. Now once we have located the package or searched for the package, the next thing is we might want to view a little information about this package. So we will use yum info and then the package name. So what information this gives us, so you can see it gives us what is the name epoch the version the release architecture size source so you can see that quite a bit of information about the package is available now the next thing is if i want to install it then i use yum install and the package name which is nmap all right so once we i do it it shows me that nmap will be the installing the package that will be installed and there's one similar package n map and cat which it will upgrade okay so at times what happens is if the package that you want to install has further dependencies then the system will ask you whether you want to install those dependencies or not so you need to give a reply in yes or no so i'll write here y press enter and it will download the packages So most of the time you will always say yes. So a better way to run this command is yum install then use hyphen y which is a yes for all the situations where it might ask you for a confirmation. 
so it will not ask you then yes or no it will automatically take that as yes okay so this is a better way to do the installation part now if a package is already there and you want to update that package we'll use yum update we check that httpd is already installed and now you want to update that so i use yum update httpd and it will start updating the package yes so this package is updated if i now check yum list httpd you can see now it is just showing me the installed package not the available update which it showed earlier when i ex run this command in the very beginning you can just go back into the video and see the difference in the output of this yum list htt pd command last thing is removing a package so if i now list and map which i have just installed and it will show me the status as installed package now if i want to remove it yum remove and map yes remove the dependency also package is removed let me now check the status with yum list and you can see now it is showing it as available package so this one is not installed now so that was all about the use of yum command in the next video we will cover the system ctl command